to Lowe's. I want to be there when they open the Lowe's that's closest to the farm. I need to pick up another pallet of concrete blocks. Um, we picked up one pallet yesterday and unloaded it. And so we needed two different kinds because da -da 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 -da, the cabin is coming today. Yes, the cabin is coming today. They are um, bringing it this morning. So really excited about that. Don't want to miss it. So I am trying to hurry up and get these blocks there so that they can do whatever they need to do um, to, you know, unload the cabin, of course. And it's really exciting. This has been a process, several months um, in the making. Had to, one, decide which farm building going to go with really. so I'm going to update you on what's going on the biggest thing to keep in mind is that the cabin's coming today yeah! <laughs> I, I won't get you on there Honey, I don't mind. <laughs> You may be famous, like living on, you know, incognito. <laughs> so because of the weight of the blocks in the truck, as you can see, it's causing my truck to go down. So I am going to put some air in my tire. Have I ever put air in these truck tires before? No. I have limited experience putting airs in tires in general, but daggone it, if it needs to be done, I'm gonna do it. All right, so here is some of the equipment they're gonna use today. I forgot something that they need. <laughs> I forgot the wood, the two by sixes. So I may have to run and go get those. Um, right now, I have 50 blocks and only me. Girl, I feel you. You know, um, this isn't for those who, uh, don't like to work. I know some of you may have seen like the speaking engagements and all of the fancy stuff. That's um, that's my heifer neighbor. How befitting. But um, she just saying good morning. But you know it's work involved too and I am not afraid to work. So sure. Do I need to move?
almost took out Miss Kathy's mailbox. I stopped taking the blocks off y'all because I figured they had one of those. What do you want? Um, I actually, so I told you I'm turning that into the front. So if we can shift, shift it just a little bit so it's diagonal, just a little bit. It's not too far off, yeah. Okay, so one thing I forgot the two by sixes. I need to go get. So, can we look and see if I have something? Oh. So, now they're going to reposition it for me. I was changing the orientation of the building. I think I'm changing it and turning the back side into the front, if that makes any sense. Um, and so they're just getting in the right position for me right now. A little, come a little more this way. And did I measure? No, I didn't. I didn't measure. I, I'm going based on what feels right. <laughs> what feels right. A lot of what's happened. Some has been, yeah. Some has been measured. Some has been um, 
research and some of this farm is just from the spirit. It's, it's a combination of all things. Whew, it's a lot of emotions right now, y'all. To go from an empty field of failed crops, um, realizing that I was gonna be on my own with this, to now having an almost completed greenhouse. I've got a building. I bet it needs a little work, but still. And uh, next we're putting in the raised beds out here and getting this area together. Um, it's happening and it couldn't happen without your support. So I thank you. I thank you again for every person who has somehow poured into us financially in order to make this happen. And I can't wait. I can't wait to invite you to come see what, what we've created together. So again, to all of our supporters, thank you. You went above and beyond. And some of you continue to come back repeat customers, people who gave to our campaign over and over again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And just as a reminder, I want to show you the exterior and how it is positioned. So when I'm coming in, this is my view from this side over here. And I did reorient the building doesn't mean if I'm feeling 